I've just installed this Ruda CO2 laser controller from Cloudry and I at the moment wish to make it work from Wi-Fi so I've got no cables going to the computer. So what I've done is I've bought a travel router. And to power it I've connected it to the U-Disk. That's enough power to power the Wi-Fi router and then also the Ethernet cable goes into the controller. This will all be uh, mounted on the machine properly when, when it's all finished. Looking at the manual for the travel router we need to set it up as an access point for it to work with the RD work software or a light burn. Uh, when it's powered up you'll be able to log on to it using the default password that's written on the bottom of the router. Then you would use any web browser to go to the uh, this address TP link Wi-Fi net as the, as the manual states. When you first open the page it'll ask you to set a password then you'll, you'll end up with this menu here. You go to the, the quick setup uh, you click next you would choose access point click next again uh, uh, right you can change the name here to anything you want you can also reset the password uh, click next again uh, it shows you the default IP address here click next again and uh, then finish once you click this the, the router reboots. After the travel router is rebooted you can log back into it again uh, with its new name and new password if you've set a new password. After you've done this you uh, go to command prompt so type command it, uh, Windows 10 it finds it and then uh, type IP config and this shows you the IP address here so at the moment the last all you're interested in is the last digits uh, it's at 101 after we've looked at the uh, IP address on the laptop or computer we can change the uh, IP address on the controller to appropriate one. So that's a menu, control settings, IP config. So the first three boxes are the same. And uh, we would just change the last one. So it's 101, so I'm going to set this to 100, should work okay. After we've changed the IP address on the controller we can set it the same IP address on the RD works. So we would go to device settings. Uh, I've got an address already in here so I'll just modify it and I'll change this to 100 and then click test and port success that's okay. Exit and then uh, I also go here if I read current position it populates these figures and uh, I can also jog the machine around and load files and so on and it's a very similar procedure if you want to use Lightburn with Lightburn you would set it the usual way as an Ethernet connection and then uh, to change it to the Wi-Fi it's just a case of changing it to the IP address same as the RD work so it's just here devices settings and uh, you change your IP address here and then uh, if you click current position it reads and the, the machine will jog around and you can use this function move the head on the bed so now you have a, a laser 
that uh, runs from Wi-Fi. <laughs>